What's up everyone? It's Will Lett with Urbex and Coasters and I am here at Knott's Berry Farm and I'm gonna do an update on Montezuma's Revenge. That's pretty much, that's all that remains of the front spike. I'd imagine it's just supports that are in there in that scaffolding. We're not gonna be like the man that was killed by Banshee, but you can see there's some work going on back there. And that scaffolding is all that's there. Like you can see the footers back there. And here is the back spike. And as you can see, the track is gone but the support is still here and like i mean that looks pretty similar to what's on the other side having the support that's just encased in that scaffolding so it's not going to contain any original track from montezuma's revenge it appears And here is heading to the station. You can see there's tarps covering stuff. You can see where the loop would have been. That's been gone for years, but you can see on Jaguar, there is still the remnant of what would have what the loop would have circled and even in the station you can see everything is covered so if anyone has any idea what any of this means feel free to let me know but like i mean like, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to the new version, but, like, I mean, I'm not thrilled that it's not going to be a genuine Schwarzkopf coaster, because, like, these things are rare these days, and we're not going to have a genuine Schwarzkopf coaster. We're just going to have a generic, probably LSM coaster from Premier Rides that uses the layout of a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop, but... That's basically the only way in which it resembles one. It's not going to have any of the mechanics of one. 